Hi, hey, Marcus Mulia. I would like to share some of the things that I observed or also experienced uh, recently in terms of the HR evolutions that uh, might be impacting our work. So this one is actually sharing for my HR friends. Number one is that more and more HR are using AI. So we use a lot of artificial intelligence to help us in the process, to help us in the tools. More remote employees. Uh, nowadays, when we hire, we maybe we never even meet uh, the, uh, the candidate in person. Everything is about virtual. So uh, what are the things that we need to make sure that our HR processes, our HR interactions also can be done through remotely? What are the things that we need to change separately as well to make sure that the employees who join us and those existing employees know that they are comfortable to talk to us virtually as well? And for us, we also need to be comfortable to do that by uh, using the phones, using the computer more and more to interact with one another. And because of that, actually, the employees that cannot come back to Singapore, we can still be in touch because now there is no boundaries anymore in terms of uh, meeting rooms. The other topic is automation of HR ops. Is, uh, as we are going through a lot of the uh, remote uh, employees, uh, HR operations need to be automated, need to be very user-friendly as well for people to submit claim, to submit their request to our online. And online self-service is also very important. At least they can do it anytime according to the time rather than wait for the HR to wake up or for the HR to respond. So the online self-service, we need to start to educate more and more if your organizations have not started that. Data-driven is another one. Um, there's uh, a lot of things Then it will also help us also to collect a lot of information. So don't use the computer or the online services just to, for the sake of processes, but make sure also that the, in terms of the quality, in terms of the improvement that we can do, we use all those feedback from the data that uh, collected through the system to help us to generate certain idea or solve any problem that we can do uh, improvement as well. The next point is that we need to really behave like HRBP. Whether you're in HR operations, whether you are in um, uh, HR, uh, other SMEs, but uh, we need uh, this is the opportunity we can do our HR business partnering because everything is virtual. There is no boundaries that we need to set up um, any face to face meeting and uh, wait for them to come to the meeting and uh, to discuss something. We just need any time we can just uh, set up a call, set up a time to understand their issues. And also we can work as a team as in HR to help one another and to understand the business as well. And the uh, last one, which is uh, also important, take the phone seat uh, rather than uh, we're hiding behind the scene, hiding at home. And uh, also we don't uh, make any connections with our clients, with our uh, team, with our uh, management as well that uh, we need to understand them. So these are the things that I can share. Part to the HR evolutions is not like um, the old HR anymore. We are just pushing paper, we sign forms, we uh, create forms, those kind of things. But we really need to make use of these interactions uh, more and more. And we need to make a more deliberate because now we are totally hidden inside our own house. And so, uh, yes, uh, be mindful and also uh, be comfortable to change towards these directions using the new technologies. Happy trying.